Okay, class. Our next topic is about the muscular system. And this will be reported by group 2. Composed of Mr. Del Rosario, Mr. Garcia, and Mr. Murada, the leader. So, please... Research and prepare for your presentation next meeting. Bye class. God bless. Group 2, Andre, Johan, Google Meet tayo para madiscuss natin yung i-report re natin. Okay, okay sige. sige. Paano ba natin ito sisimulan? Ang hirap kasi kung dito lang tayo mag-uusap sa Google Meet. Oo nga eh. Pero okay na yan. Kasi naman hindi tayo makakapag-usap. Mag-search na lang muna tayo ng mga video para may idea tayo about the topic. Oh, ito, ito, ito. Meron ako nakita. Share ko lang yung screen ko. Does the word muscle make you think of the well-developed muscles of a weightlifter like the woman in this photo? Her name is Natalia Zabolotnaya and she is a Russian Olympian. The muscles that are used to lift weights are easy to feel and see. But they aren't the only muscles in the human body. Many muscles are deep inside the body where they form the walls of internal organs and other structures. You can move your biceps at will, but you can't control internal muscles like these. It's a good thing that these internal muscles work without any conscious effort on your part because the movement of these muscles is essential for survival. Muscles are the organs of the muscular system. What is the muscular system? The muscular system consists all of the muscles of the body. Muscles are organs composed mainly of muscle cells, which are also called muscle fibers. There are about 650 muscles in the body, which are responsible for different types of movements. Their predominant function is contractibility. Muscles attached to bones or internal organs and blood vessels are responsible for movement. The integrated action of joints, bones, and skeletal muscles produce obvious movements such as walking and running. Skeletal muscles also produce more subtle movements that result in various facial expressions, eye movements, and respiration. In addition to movement, Muscle contraction also fulfills some of the other important functions in the body, such as posture, joint stability, and heat production. Posture, such as sitting and standing, is maintained because of the muscle contraction. The skeletal muscles are continually making fine adjustments that hold the body in stationary positions. The tendons of many muscles extend over joints, and in this way, contribute to joint stability. This is particularly evident in the knee and shoulder joints, where muscle tendons are a major factor in stabilizing the joint. Okay, Andre, send mo sa amin yung link. Ito, may nakita din ako. Share ko din yung screen ko. Types of muscle and their function. About half of your body's weight is muscle. In the muscular system, muscle tissue is categorized into three distinct types. Skeletal strip or voluntary muscle, smooth or involuntary muscles, cardiac muscles. Each type of muscle tissue in the human body has a unique structure and a specific role. Skeletal strip or voluntary muscle. These muscles are attached to bones of the skeleton and they are under our conscious control. When these muscles contract, they move the body. Skeletal muscle is the muscle responsible for voluntary movement and locomotion. It helps us stand, walk, drive, grow, run, and move. Skeletal muscle also maintain posture and help keep balance. Skeletal is muscle tissue that is attached to bones by tendon, which are bundles of collagen fibers. By weight, an average adult male is about 42% skeletal muscles. In the average adult female is about 36% skeletal muscle. Some of the major skeletal muscle in the human body are labeled in here. Smooth or involuntary muscles. These muscles are not attached to any bones and called involuntary muscles because you cannot consistently control these muscles therefore move automatically. Muscles in the walls of blood vessels contract 
to cause vasoconstriction or the narrowing blood vessels that causes blood flow to slow down or to be blocked, which may help conserve body heat. Relaxation of this muscle causes vaso vasodilation or the widening of the blood vessels that increase blood flow and lower blood pressure. It can cause dizziness, weakness, and fainting. It may help the body lose heat. Some examples of smooth muscles are the stomach, which digests food, esophagus, that carries down food, and the diaphragm, that allows you to breathe while you sleep. All of these muscles move automatically. Cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscles tissue is only found in your heart. It works to keep your heart pumping blood through involuntary movements. This means that they are automatic and that a person cannot control them. It contains cardiac muscles which perform highly coordinated action that keep the heart pumping and blood circulating throughout the body. Pag samasamayin muna natin yung mga na-research natin, ito nga, may nakita na ako kasi hindi ko may sure sa inyo kasi naglolo kayo internet sa amin. Tara mo kayo pumunta sa school, tapos doon ka kamulit. O kaya i-download mo na lang, tapos isend mo na lang sa amin sa GC. Teka! Bakit pa nagpapakahirap pa tayo? Dito nyo na lang kaya tignan sa laptop ko. Oo oh, nga no! Ayun, yan! Ayun, ayun! Ayun! Injuries and diseases of muscles. Because the muscles are needed for movement, there are times when some activities can cause some injuries or diseases like cramps. It's an uncontrollable and painful contraction of the tightening of muscles. It can happen after a tiring activity, especially when the person sweats heavily and loses a lot of body salts. Cramps are common among, among athletes, swimmers, runners, and bikers. Often develops cramps in their legs. A muscle strain or pulled muscle occurs when your muscle is overstretched or turned. This usually occurs as a result of fatigue, overuse, or improper use of muscle. Strain can happen in any muscle, but they're most common in your lower back, neck, shoulder, and hamstring, which is the muscle behind your thigh. These strains can cause pain and may limit movement within the affected muscle group. Bruise Black and blue marks are often associated with bruises. A bruise or constitution appears on the skin due to trauma. Example of trauma are a cut or a blow to an area of the body. The injuries causes tiny blood vessels called capillaries to burst. Blood gets trapped below the skin surface which can cause a bruise. Muscle dystrophy. Muscular dystrophy is a group of inherited diseases that damage and weaken your muscle over time. The disease usually starts by weakening of the thigh and pelvic muscles, making it difficult for the affected person to walk, stand, climb, and do other activities. Myasthenia gravis is a neuromuscular disorder that can cause weakness in the skeletal muscles, which leads to dropping eyelids and difficulty in speaking, chewing, and swallowing. Caring for our muscles. The muscles are very active organ system, and while muscles are strong, sometimes this can get damaged. Maintain proper care for our muscles to continue doing the things we love. Eat foods that are rich with protein which helps to repair damaged muscles. Before doing extensive exercises, do some warm-ups to prepare your muscles for the upcoming physical activities. Hydration is beneficial because water flushes the toxins and bacteria in your muscles out and decrease joint pain by keeping the cartilage soft. Get plenty of rest and sleep in a position that is comfortable for your body. <laughs> Bye! Hi! <laughs> Cyrus, pa Google Meet, Google Meet ka pa dyan ha? Pwede na mo pala ganito. <laughs> Oo nga, di mo pa sinabi kanina. Hi! Yes, so, so, tapos na! Woo! Hello!